Hello everyone, allow me to introduce myself. I am Stacy Hinton, also known as Miss Hinton to my art students. I am a teacher at um, a Columbus school that is, like most schools right now, not in session. So we're gonna do a little bit more recording of lessons. Today I'm just gonna go over general supplies, things we can kind of collect and gather over the next day or so, so that you have some things you can use from your house, nothing extravagant, nothing um, that requires you to go to the store. Um, obviously, we're all trying to stay home right now, stay healthy, and do the right thing. So, I'm coming to you today from my own home art studio. Yes, I have a lot of supplies, but I am going to limit myself from using a lot of the things that I know you will not have at home. Um, you probably don't have a stack of art journals like I do or sketchbooks, but you might have an old notebook. Um, this is pretty thin, plain paper that I got from Michaels. Um, I think they're like two for five. These are old um, composition notebooks, perfect for creating in. So you can do lots of fun stuff in those. It does not matter your paper quality right now. I know people are just searching for things to keep their kids busy as well as keeping um, everyone kind of happy and doing something that is creative is a great way to enjoy everything that we do have and kind of show a little thankfulness right now, which I know we all need. So paintbrushes. Think outside of the box with this. If you have these old little paintbrushes that you would use like for house painting or something like that, um, make sure you're asking your parents before you go taking what they have. Foam brushes work as well if you have them. Um, obviously, if you have a paintbrush, hopefully you have some paint. Even house paint could work. Um, again, you wanna stir everything up. Make sure you have permission before you use these things and ask for help if you're a younger student. Also, um, a simple, plain watercolor brush. Um, this doesn't have to be anything extravagant either. Um, basic supplies, that's what I'm going for today. Um, I have a set of praying watercolors. They can be Crayola. Um, Rose aren't, aren't that great, but they're cheap, and if you can find them at the dollar store right now, that's fine. Um, just a simple set um, of eight colors would be awesome. Glue of some kind, you can use Mod Podge, you can use tape be it scotch tape or masking tape, whatever you have around the house. These are all things that have been in my home um, since before I was an art teacher. So I was just trying to think outside of the box for families and let you know like other things you could use. So if you do want to do some sort of cutting and gluing, but you don't have Elmer's glue at home, think about tape, think about paper clips or binder clips even. These are a great um, option to clip things together or um, even clothespins. So I know it's rainy in Ohio right now, so we're not hanging clothes on the line yet. So these might come in handy as well, or even to hang up wet artwork so that it has a chance to dry and it doesn't have to take up extra space. Um, since paper towels and toilet paper have been a hot commodity, just rip off the excess. I've got lots of ideas for what we can do with this from sculptures, um, that again, aren't going to require much of anything, maybe a pair of scissors. Um, if you're a younger student, make sure there's an adult present or you have permission to use scissors without anyone around. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Please use safety scissors with younger students as they still tend to put their fingers in front of the scissors just to be safe. But these are great. We can cut these down and make 3D flowers. Um, lots of cool stuff we can do with paper towel or toilet paper or paper towel rolls. So either one works, just peel off the excess and you're good to go. Also, since we're all probably online shopping at this point, if you have bubble wrap that is sent to you in the packaging, save it. These are great to make prints with or to add markers over top of or to do rubbings on top of. Lots of ideas for this as well. Again, all of this is going to be coming soon. Just give me a few to get through my very long list of art ideas. Um, cardboard, again, packaging. Anything that comes in a package, you can always tear apart 
kids love cardboard and they'd rather play with the box than the toy that came in in any way. Think outside of the box with this one. What can you do with a piece of cardboard? It could be what you draw on. Um, it could be what you are using to make um, the flower out of or attach your paper towel or toilet paper rolls to and make some sort of sculpture. There's lots of different things we can do with this and I will go through as many as I can. Another great thing, if you don't have packaging boxes, your um, cereal boxes or any packaging like your pizza box and things like that, those are great thin cardboards for little hands to cut. Um, they're super easy, so then you don't have to help them as much. With the thicker cardboard, it is harder to cut, and you will need bigger scissors and stronger hands. So keep to the thin stuff if that's something that um, your kids love. If they like collage and building things, go that direction with them. Um, another simple object that most of us have is some kind of plastic bag even if it's a plastic Kroger bag from wherever grocery store that you go to um, these are great to do simple prints to store stuff um, all the supplies maybe could be thrown in there but then you can use the bag to actually create art as well um, and then lastly you're gonna need paper at some point hopefully um, you guys got some from me I sent home little sketchbooks for all of my students, kindergarten through fifth grade, and then sixth, seventh, and eighth, you are all to use your regular sketchbooks to create artwork. At this time, I do not have a specific assignment for any students. Um, the reason behind that is because everybody has different supplies at home. I cannot guarantee that you're going to have what I do or what I need you to in order to complete a project at this point. So. For now, I'm just looking for everyone to have one or two projects that they can share with me. You can either email me, post them to your Google Classroom for um, fifth through eighth grade, or you can just bring them back with you when we return to school. I hope this helps everybody. I really am thinking positive here, and I hope you're all happy and healthy and taking care of each other. Please be kind.